What up, gang? Y'all already know what's going on. Let's get straight to it. You read that title. Uh, if you haven't yet, go check out these videos I'm going to put on the screen so you can get caught up. All right, but I'm going to get it. a little backstory. Okay, if you don't know, FBG Duck was killed, right? All right. Old Block members have been arrested for the murder. Muwak, C Thing, C Murder, uh, Los, Kenny, and um, Boss Top was arrested, but he wasn't charged as what Dave was charged for. Also, uh, a lot of people said Boss Top is not even in the system where he's at. Like, it's just. He's been arrested. Most people saying he's kidnapped from uh, the feds kidnapped him. Um, DQ, his name came up too, but it's not in the paperwork that he was arrested for the same thing. They don't know where he's at. Okay, let's get into it. Um, a lot of people saying it's a snitch for the police to know what's going on. Police said they looked through social media. These guys was... Uh, Telling on itself basically. They listen to songs, um, a lot of stuff. I'm not gonna get into it. Go check out these videos. All right, but let's get into it. Los. Los is the the key witness right now. All right, let me tell y'all what Los position was in this situation right here. A lot of people feel like Los the one got him knocked off. Okay. Let's take it back a week before FBG Duck was assassinated. All right. Los, okay, we're going to take it back farther than that. Because a lot of people saying that King Von allegedly put the head out on FBG Duck. Okay, a week before Duck died, King Von did a documentary in Old Block where he brung $100,000 and he broke it down with the team. A hundred thousand. He took a hundred thousand to old block and filmed it. Well, he broke it down with the team. All right. Days later, FBG Duck get killed downtown, broad daylight, shot over thirty three times. Right. Okay. If you don't know, just like any other city downtown, a lot going on down there. They got cameras on every corner, every building. Okay, Los, Los, once everything go down, they get caught, police hit, uh, the feds hit, they catch him, right? Let me tell you what Los did, though. After the shooting, uh, okay, I'm going to say allegedly. Well, I'm not going to even say allegedly because... <laughs> Lowe's toll on itself. Okay. After uh, Lowe's car was one of the vehicles that was on camera that pulled up and started shooting. Right? It was two vehicles. One was stolen and one, the other one was Lowe's car. Okay. It was a van. The van was stolen and the other one was Lowe's car. After the shooting, Okay, I skipped. Let me start back. Okay, after King Von came and dropped 100000 right? Boom. Los did a PP loan. PPP loan. His PPP loan came in around the time, the same week, that King Von came and dropped 100000 Los go to the suburbs and buy a car, right? He buy a car. They do the shooting, but before the shooting happened, a couple of days, a couple of days before, literally all this is like in a week and a half time span. The car place calling Los back because you know how a lot of people do. They lie on the application. I work here. I get paid this amount of much money. And when the car lie, you gonna it gonna go through it. And you know what I'm saying? Everything gonna be good. But then when the car lot do deeper investigation at the end of the day, they realize that you don't work where you say you work. You ain't making as much money. They calling Lowe's telling him to bring the car back. He don't bring the car back, right? 
Okay, fast forward to the day that Duck got killed. Okay, Duck was uh, downtown going to stores shopping for his son's birthday party. Somehow they got the low on Duck. A stolen van and Lowe's car pull up. Shooter jump out, shoot Duck over 30, 32 times, 33 times, right? Okay, after the shooting pop off, Lowe's drive to the suburbs an hour away. He had to be driving fast because it was 5 o'clock traffic. Y'all know how that 5 o'clock traffic hit. It hit different. Everybody getting all work is backed up. But the suburbs an hour away from downtown. He got there 50 minutes later. He drove the car and dropped it off because they were... They, they been calling for their car. You don't work where you say you work. Oh, you say you work at Popeye. We check. Popeye say they don't know you. We need that car back. You feel what I'm saying? So he go drop off the car. Right after they did the murder. Okay. When the guard go down, feds get him in um investigation room. They ask him. They say, what is this picture? They showed him a picture of an ice cream cone. And if you don't know, feds do that or show you something simple when they ask you about lineups and stuff like that. Just to make sure and put on record that you're in your right mind. So Lowe's like, oh, that's an ice cream cone. Okay. Then they show Lowe's car. They ask Lowe's. What's this? Lowe's said, oh, that's my car. This man on Instagram, he done took pictures inside. Like, this ain't even no luxury car. This is, I want to say, a Ford. Ford Taurus or something. But I know it's a Ford. This man done took pictures and put it on social media. The ties, the inside of the car, the cup holders, the glove department. It, you know, when you get your first new car and you so happy... You just take a picture of all, uh, I'm talking about, you take so many pictures of everything and all the details like you selling that motherfucker. You know how you go on Craigslist and they had a, the engine picture, they had a trunk picture, they had a flow picture, on unwrecked. That's what he had on Instagram. This motherfucker took a picture of every, every detail in the car and put it on Instagram. So they like, okay, is this your car? They show him the picture. Oh yeah, that's my car. Mind you, beforehand now, nah, he told him his car was stolen. But he ain't filed a police report. Okay. They show his car, a picture of his car at the crime scene. Got what they motherfucker say? Oh, yeah, that most definitely my car. Okay. You fucked up. You know, like on Men's Society, when the, uh, the black police with the bald head, I forgot his name, the actor. He said, you know you fucked up, right? They got him, y'all. So, what he have done, he has put his car on the crime scene. Okay. Now they got to put him as being the driver. Okay. Now they pull up the pictures of him in the car driving in the downtown area before and after the shoot. They say, is that you? He say, yeah, that's me. All right, that's me. They say, there's some guys in, there, in the car with you. Who is that? He go to name him. Oh, that move out, see things, see matter, whatever. Whoever else was in the car. Now you have put you, your car, and everybody else at this crime scene. So you say your car was stolen, but you have identified pictures of you in your car before and after. The killing. So now. So 
So now, you know you done fucked up, right? So, we know ain't nobody steal your car. We know that that was you driving when the, the shooting popped off. Now, y'all put in the comments. They said somebody was snitching. And somebody had to snitch. Y'all put in the comments if you think Low said too much. Now, his lawyer... Matter of fact, he did this statement without his lawyer there. Now his lawyer there, he like, nah, this ain't my client. Y'all ain't got no proof that my client was at the scene. Y'all ain't got no proof my client was the shooter. Was one of the shooters. But Lowe's has identified the car. He has identified him in the car before and after the shooting. Y'all let me know who snitched. Okay. 